Okay, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a um, something a bit different. I've never really bought anything off Amazon Warehouse before, um, so I'm going to be well. I've bought, I've got, bought a couple, a couple cheap speakers off Amazon Warehouse, and I'm going to be wondering: should, should, is it something that I would recommend? Is it something that I would do again? Uh, type of questions that I'm going to answer in this video. Um, maybe I've had a bad experience this time, or maybe this is what you should expect. But this is the first speaker, and this is effectively how it came out of the box. I know, obviously, the whole point of this is that they're damaged return goods or damaged boxes in the warehouse, and you get them cheaper because of that, and the products themselves are supposed to be fine. But still, um, this is a bit shocking. This is how it was effectively given. You've got... I mean, this just looks like it's been opened at this point, to be honest, but you've got... Um, a waterproof speaker by Lenru. Never even heard of the brand before, but to be honest, that's not what import what's important here in this video. Um, and the speaker itself is alive. I don't see any damage on it and nothing like that, so that's not too much of a problem there. Um, obviously, the packaging is completely scuffed. It's got a cable with it and a linky thing. I assume the cable would have had wrapper on it at some point, and I'm not sure what happened to the packaging on this one it looks like it's been eaten by mice there's a hole in it there um yeah i'm not really sure what happened to all of this really but i guess the main attraction is all in one piece uh, as far as i'm aware it's come with all the parts um this is obviously a shower speaker that sticks to your wall um and yeah i guess this one isn't too bad the second one is this obviously we've got the Amazon warehouse sticker on there. I don't even really know what this is. EWA something or other. Um, you can see the picture of what the speaker looks like on there. That's the brand. Very simple box. Tape that's clearly been opened before. Um, when you open this box further, what you get inside is this, which is by the brand ONN. Um, Obviously, not the speaker in the box, and I promise you, I'm not. I'm not making this up. This is this is what was this was what was given to me in this box. I've got an empty circle here for some reason, and we've got the manual for the EWA speaker, uh, and then just kind of like whatever that is down there. I don't know if maybe this was a speaker that was sent out and returned, and they didn't check that the speaker was that they put back in the box was the right one. But this is, as you can see, model. ONA, ONA, different model, different wattage, different brand completely. This says Asda Stores LTD, so this is an Asda speaker, um, which obviously isn't what has been bought here. I don't really know what this is, to be honest, anyway, or why you would buy this. But that aside, this is not what, well, what was paid for and what was ordered. And as much as the box in this one is in slightly better condition the product inside is not the product that was ordered so obviously these will be going back um well especially this one but i mean i've never really i've never used amazon warehouse before and i'm not sure if this is a dodgy order i've had this time round and that this is just worse than normal but to me from from this from my experience anyway i would probably steer clear from buying anything with any value to it um I mean, these speakers are fine. I mean, if the actual speaker was in here, this would be all right. <clears throat> and this one definitely is because you're just going to throw the box out anyway. But if you're going to be buying something like the um, the uh, Bang & Olufsen speaker I've just reviewed, I wouldn't do it through this because realistically you want to keep the box in a nice condition anyway so you can sell it on eventually. And it's all part of the, the unboxing. It's all part of the experience. And this is, I mean, it's just a, it's a, it's a shambles of a, of a thing to receive through your door, isn't it, really? Um, no matter how much money you're getting off. So... From my experience with these products, I would probably steer clear, but I imagine it's not that bad most of the time. So, I mean, yeah, I don't know whether I'm going to do a review on each of these people. Well, definitely not this one, because I don't even know what speaker that is, and it's from Asda. So, but maybe this one. I've had a little play with it, and it actually doesn't seem too bad. It's got some nice lights that go on the outside, so let me know if you want to see a review on this speaker. But for now, um, I think we should probably steer clear. 